Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, in this episode I wanted to give you a really cool trick to take photos at night without a tripod. Alright guys, so you've been in a situation where you have like an amazing view, you know, from a high balcony or something of a beautiful city like New York and you have your camera and tripods are not allowed. How do you take a cool photo? I want to show you this really cool trick because I cannot tell you how many times I missed opportunities because tripod were not allowed and I wanted to take a night photo. It's not the most quality ever, but it works great. So here is the trick. And if you stay until the end, I'm going to give you these raw files so you can see for yourself. You can also retouch them and, and try different techniques and see the quality of them. So what I did is I went up on a balcony of a restaurant in Clearwater Beach at night, like really at night when the sun was behind the horizon. It was really pitch black. And what I did is I shot with my Sony A7R 2 and I had a 35 millimeter f 2.8. Now, Smaller is the aperture, better is the result. But it also worked with an f4 lens. I just happened to have my 35 millimeter prime 2.8. And what you do is this. You try to stabilize it as much as you can by putting a two second timer, meaning it takes, it waits one or two seconds and then it takes the photo. So for example, on this photo, I first started with my 24105 at f4. And I was at 1 13th of a second, f4, ISO 1 to 50. Now the trick is ISO 250 is pretty high, but today's camera can really handle a lot of ISO. And the major trick is you got to stabilize your camera by, you know, finding a position where you're not going to move, have the two second timer so when the photo gets taken, there is no movement. And you will be surprised some of this mirrorless camera can go up to half a second without needing a tripod because they have inside stabilization. So you need to make sure if your camera has stabilization, if your lens has stabilization, that it is active. So check this out. This was a photo shot at 1 13th of second f4 ISO 250. And it is sharp. It's completely usable. It's a big file. It's a, almost an 8042 million pixel file. And so I'm just going to correct the colors a bit. I'm going to open up the shadows. I'm going to bring down the highlights. I'm going to do the white, I'm going to do the black. Okay. Now, one of the main problems that we have with night photography is you get weird white balances. You know, for example, the top of the photo is a certain color, the bottom is another color. So that's kind of tricky. Usually what I do is I do two white balance for the price of one. So check this out. I'm going to make a white balance for the bottom. So I'm going to make a gradient here. And on this one, I'm going to boost the exposure and I'm going to add some blue because I think it's way too yellow. All right. But that only applies to the bottom. So let me show you before you see it's very yellow and dark and after. Now I'm going to create another white balance. I'm going to press I to get rid of this for the top here. And this time I'm going to go the opposite. I'm going to warm it up a little bit and maybe add a bit of magenta just for the top and not so bright. And now we have a white balance for the bottom and for the top. The overall white balance was as shot. I think I was on, uh, let's see here, not daylight. Yeah, probably something very similar to daylight. Maybe it was a little bit more magenta. So I was just on daylight, but you see, you can correct the white balance. And this photo is completely usable. You can make a big print out of it and you shot it without a tripod. Let me give you another example. I mean, they didn't always come out sharp, but check this one out. I'm going to filter this. This one was really later at night. And I shot this with 35 millimeter f2.8. I was at 0.4 second at f5. And I was kind of holding on the balcony there, but I couldn't really hold it there. And it, you know, but with the stabilization, I could still get a sharp photo. And let me retouch this again. So similar, I'm going to open up the shadows, bring down the highlights. I'm going to do the white and the black. This one, I'm going to add a lot of blue and a little bit of magenta. I'm going to press I and I love this photo. I'm going to do maybe uh, a little bit of exposure here in the sky by brushing a bit of exposure. Not that much. Just bring it back a little bit on this one. I don't need to do a, a double, you know, white balance. So this trick really works. I've actually have had a lot of photos in my latest New York book shot from a chopper using that exact same technique. It's so cool. Uh, one last photo. This was like an Instagram kind of format photo. Same thing with the boats in the foreground. 
And same thing here, open the shadows, bring down the highlights, you know, do your black thing and then add a lot of blue and add a bit of magenta. And check this out, you got a really sharp photo taken from a balcony without a tripod. So of course there's a bit of noise here in the sky because 1250. So what you do here, and this is my formula on this kind of photography, I put the noise reduction around 30 and I put the sharpening around 70. Okay, and then the masking around 50 or 60, something like this. And it doesn't get rid of all the noise, but believe me, it's usable enough. I've used it in books, it's amazing. And um, so same thing on this photo, we can check out the noise level. Uh, 1250 is, and this is the Sony SNR2, which is a camera that's a few years old. Yeah, it's a bit noisy, so again, 30 of noise reduction, 70 of sharpening. I'm always trying that noise reduction and sharpening makes 100, okay? And then don't forget the masking around 50 or 60. The way masking works is uh, basically what you see here in black by holding the option key is not going to get sharpened. So only the white is gonna get sharpened and it avoids to get grain in the sky. And I love these photos. I think they will do great. So next time you are on a balcony and you have an amazing view, Put your camera on a two second timer, go like at 1250, 1250, 1500 ISO, and open your aperture as much as you can. Try to breathe slowly and take photos. You might very well use it. You might sell it to galleries. You might become an international star. It is crazy. Download the raw files. And guys, if you like this video, please give it a one big like, smash that like button, and leave me a comment. Tell me what you would like to learn. I did a video last week that did really well with a really cool trick next time you take a photo at the beach. Check it out.